Welcome to the channel. It's a new dawn for Kill Team. The Rogue Trader expansion is here. Well, it's up for pre-order on the 8th of September. You can buy it a week later. Kill Team is a 40k skirmish game where you control individual models rather than whole units and Rogue Trader was the name that the game was almost called back in the day but there was another game called Rogue Trooper that came out along the same time about some genetically engineered super soldiers that got wiped out in a drop site massacre. Hmm. So they changed the name Rogue Trader to Ro Warhammer 40k. Well it was Warhammer 4k but they added another zero on it to make it feel like it was very very far in the future. So let's dive in, let's unbox this. But before we do, a quick look on the back of the box. A couple of new factions, the Rogue Traders and the new bad guys. Uh, a new board, some new seasonery. And Kill Team is an expansion for the Warhammer 40k Kill Team Skirmish War Game. It adds new factions, environments and rules to the game, including new tactics and command, up, command upgrades. Let's open up the box. Inside, looks like this. So these will be the new scenery sprues. Yes, new two new scenery sprues with doors and pipes and things like that. Bases for your dudes, and then we have a look at the models. This is the new bad guy faction. As you can see, they're not snap fit models. You're going to need to glue these on, uh, glue these together. And here's the rogue traders. They're not snap fit models either. You need to glue them together. Is there brand new full fleshed out factions coming? Faction data cards, 10 rogue traders, lots of these other ones. Stratagems, we've got eight of each here. So uh, let's have a look at one of them. Executioner shell for the Lucidian Star Striders tactic. Use this tactic before Voidmaster Nietzsche is chosen to shoot with the shooting, in the shooting phase. Only make a single hit roll with his artificer shotgun, but add three to the result. If the hit roll is successful, the adding mode model Suffers a mortal wound. A Lucidian Star Striders. I think I'm naming that right. So look at one of these. Twisted Blessings Galapox infect, Infected Tactic. Use this tactic at the end of the movement phase. Choose a Nightmare Hulk model from your kill team that has one or more flesh wounds. And roll a d6 and a 4 up. One flesh wound is removed from that model. Okay. But that's not all. Inside here we have a lovely piece of more artwork. And then we go inside the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Let's have a look at the board first. So the board is double sided and on one side it looks like this. Clearly a spaceship. Rockets coming out the back. Stuff coming up from under the floorboards. They're in trouble. Command deck at the front here. And on the other side it looks like this. Big eye of the Inquisition in the middle of the table. At least I think that's the Inquisition. With rooms and uh, doorways and things like that. Then we have two packs of tokens. Two packs of tokens that look like this. All the uh, familiar tokens that you're familiar with when playing Kill Team. Take aim orders, falling back orders. And then that's it. That's the end of the box. And then this package here with lots of books in. Take the cover off. Rogue Trader. Skirmish combat game in the 41st millennium. A Lucidian uh, Star Striders. I'm probably saying that wrong. Uh, Gellapox infected. Um, how to stick your models together. Yes, how to stick your models together. And uh, another rules pack. I'm really racking up the number of rules uh, pamphlets I've got. And so that's what's inside the Rogue Trader box. You've got the board, you've got uh, the books with the mini codexes in and some rules, as well as the decks and the models over here. So what is Rogue Trader all about? What is going on here? Well, I was very excited to learn that Games Workshop have moved forward the narrative, moved forward the timeline of Warhammer 40k. And uh, this essentially, what you see in front of you, is a Black Library book. It is a story about what happens to the Eleusian, Eleusidian Star Striders in their search to find new colonies, new worlds for the Imperium. It's a story. And... Uh, in the start of this book here, there's um, a really good bit of narrative about the uh, rogue traders and what they are. It talks about the warrant of trade. The rogue traders are essentially one of the only free, truly free humans in the age of 40k. And they have the right to roam and colonize and wage war in the emperor's name uh, to the benefit of themselves and the imperium and their descendants. They're like lords 
in and of themselves. And what Gilliman decided to do after he uh, waged the Indominus Crusade rampaging across the galaxy is to draw all the rogue traders together on the crack and say, look, we're in a really bad state here. The galaxy is in flames. And what we need to do is we need to find new worlds, new places to colonize, because many of the worlds that we previously owned are now dead, are now completely screwed. So he tells them um, to go out but on, beyond the light of the Astronomicon and to find new places and to wage new wars and to find colonies, colonize in the name of the Emperor. It's the only way humanity is going to survive if we stretch out even further than we had before. So Alicia Vane, the rogue trader, she decides to take her flagship, the New Dawn, out beyond the stars. And uh, when she gets there, out beyond the light of an astronomicon to this place that she has heard of, this ancient, ancient place, um, things go horribly, horribly wrong. I won't export, spoil the narrative for you because it is very interesting to read, very exciting to read. And it's like reading through a black library book. It's like discovering something new that you hadn't discovered before. And when she gets there, the new dawn, the new dawn's Geller field is corrupted and it spawns new mutants, new a new faction, the Gellapox infected, that start rampaging through the book because the Geller field itself, which is the protective sheath around a ship that keeps it safe from chaos. Well, Grandfather Nurgle has found a way to infect malfunctioning Geller fields and create new demons with disgustingly resilient, or not new demons, but new um, infected humans. And it's about Lucia Vane fighting back the infection on the new dawn and also on her uh, little drop pod ship this is the true hawk this is her drop pod ship and um uh, yeah it that's the story that it deals with there so it it's 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 interesting stuff it's got um in the back we've got three open play missions in the back of the book where are they three open play missions in the back of the book new missions to play about the story arc, about this narrative, four narrative play missions about the Elysian Star Striders fighting back to the Galapox infected that have infected their ship. And we've got four match play missions in the back of the book. So you're essentially making your way, fighting your way through a new narrative, a new story arc that exists in the game of Warhammer 40k Kill Team. Very exciting stuff. Uh, you need the original Kill Team to play this game because it follows all the Kill Team rules. However, there are extra rules, and this is it. Just two pages of extra rules for fighting in ultra-close confines with walls and movement and visibility fighting in ultra-close combines. So it takes the core rules from Kill Team and adds a bit more bang to its buck. And also it... Um, adds something called commanders to the kill team rule set. So um, you have rules for commanders and traits for commanders and how to level up commanders in kill team as well. So new rules, new narrative, new commanders, uh, a new chapter of Warhammer 40k. Very exciting stuff. Um, I'll close off this uh, unboxing video here. And thanks for listening. Happy Wargaming.